here and we're here with a video for a game called Wild Tamer. It's a uh, mobile mobile game. We're gonna try it out. We're playing it on an Android tablet and uh, for some reason it's not seeming to want to look. There we go, finally. But yeah, this is a uh, Wild Tamer. It's kind of loud. Try to turn it down a little bit. And it is a. Uh, I don't really know anything about it. I just know the art style it kind of drew me in when I was looking at the pictures on the uh, on the App Store, the Google Store. And I know it. I, it looks like it kind of has a Pokemon kind of feelish feel to it because you're like trying to you know tame animals or whatever. And um, but it seems like it. It seems like instead of like Pokemon kind of creatures, it's like more realistic, uh, mythical kind of creatures with like kind of like a tribal feel to it. it the art style looks very interesting. Let's see, let's try to read this. Engage in fierce battle after defeat. Okay, could can't can't read that fast. <laughs> Millennial of peace in the world calls druids to lose their powers. I like this kind of like slideshow animation. The dark magic took, took control of all the beasts it touched, and the world once again fell into chaos. I was able to restore Druid's lost power, and together we shall save the world from the evil soul. Okay, okay, I got you game, I got you. The water from the healing well tastes like strawberry. Oh, that's cool. That's good information. Uh, you know, you, you always want your healing water to taste like strawberry, or, or cranberry, at least. You know, some kind of berry. Uh, let's see. So let's we got a little world map thing here. And the only place we can look like we can go is here, or it's telling us to go here. So let's go here. Let's let's follow the rules of the game, I guess, because that's what we want to do. I will point out, and I don't know if it's just my tablet or if it's because I have recording software going, or I'm not sure the reason, but uh... oh yeah, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I was wondering, like, because my game was very non-responsive. I was like, why can't I? tap that but you don't tap it you have to drag your character to it in this place you can buy animals let's buy three mice type on the type on the mouse tap on the mouse okay so I guess we're getting we're buying some mouse mice okay this is gonna be our first couple creatures I guess press sell to sell okay and then close oh look they follow us that's so cool okay let's go here you can purchase or upgrade various equipment. In this place, you can equip druid items. That's cool. What exactly? Oh, I guess that dictates what a druid item is. Base mare. No, wait. Bear mace. That's cool. Hey, I like that. That's kind of, kind of clever, I guess. Okay. All right. Just like armor, bear hat. Okay, we're getting we're getting all bared out over here. You can get a mask through Got Ya. Go to the Got Ya. I kind of don't want to go to the Got Ya shop. I mean, why do you guys got to force me to spend my diamonds that you give me just to buy stuff from here, just to show me that I can buy stuff? That's kind of an annoying pet peeve with these uh, free-to-play games. That they always have to uh, give you money just so you can buy something so they can show you that it exists. Like, I don't already know that you're trying to do microtransactions. I mean, I know that. Now. We all know that. Deer mask. That's cool. Okay. I do, I really, I am liking the, uh, so far, I haven't even seen that much of the game, but I am really liking the, uh, animation, like, style, the graphic style. It feels very, um, they're going for a very, like, I don't know what exactly you call it, Celtic, maybe, or Druid, I guess Druid would be the words, but just a, you know, very distinctive style. Hunt the animals, okay, let's go, let's hunt some mice, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize we were just... Oh, God, what's happening? How do I attack? How do I attack? Oh, God. How do I... Okay. Tame the animals. Okay. This... This tutorial is not really all that, um... This tutorial isn't really... It's kind of not really helping me that much. I, I don't know what these buttons do. <laughs> you can get material items if you kill animal without taming it. Okay. Uh, are these all mine? Okay, these are all mine, I guess. Okay, cool. 
Let's head back to the cave. I'm, I'm fucking. I'm like a freaking. Uh, what do they call that guy? What do they call that guy in the fairy tale? Uh, Pied Piper. I'm like a Pied Piper right now, bitch. Nobody has seen. The, oh, yeah. Let's see. Move here. I imagine as we get later in the game, there's gonna be so many animals running around in this room. Uh, in this place, you can summon and level up the hero animals based on the number of animals. Okay. Mouse. Alright. Let's level these mice up. Okay. Hero will re... Will... After a certain cool time after it dies. Okay. Close. Uh, you can get or level up hero animals. Okay. Uh, what's it? What exactly does it tell me to do right now? Nothing. I guess it's just. All right. Let's, let's just go outside the cave. I guess is that where we're supposed to go? I guess it is where we're supposed to go. Um, let's try here. Dragon is a very strong, legendary animal. Well, I guess it would be. I guess a dragon would be pretty high on the food chain. You know, if they were they exist in real life. Uh, let's see. I don't really like this control scheme, though. I don't really like how... What the fuck is this? I don't know what the... Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, there was some chat thing popping up on the bottom of the screen. I don't really like this... I don't really like this system of how you, like, drag to move. I don't really like that too much. Oh, shit. More mice are coming. More mice are coming. Okay. Ah. Let's see. Can I tame these over here, too? Let's, let's try to tame these. Uh, I guess these are all dead. Bitch. The gameplay so far is not really all that entertaining or like fun, I guess I would say. It just feels more, it just feels kind of micromanagement. Uh, I kind of feel like as we get farther in the game, that's kind of what it's going to be. It's just going to be like using my animals to catch other animals and then try, you know, and then build up stuff and level up and I don't know it just doesn't seem like it's gonna get any more fun than what it is right now but I could be wrong I've known to been wrong in some some life before just a few I just I'm not really not a big fan of this uh, this uh, control scheme though like I much like for mobile games I much prefer being able just to tap to go you know like Instead of this whole dragging my finger across the screen, my giant freaking man fingers across the screen, you know. Is there going to be anything else besides rats? Like, when are we going to find something cooler than rats? Oh, there's something over there. I don't know what it is exactly, but there's something over there. Okay. Oh, that's that healing water, okay. Let's go to the healing water. It tastes like strawberry. Wait, wait, we not drink it? It's weird. I don't know why we can't drink it. Maybe maybe we can't drink it because we're in combat. Okay, let's go. Let's drink it. Drink it. Drink the fucking water. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, we gotta watch that's so annoying. We gotta watch that ad just to heal. I'm not doing that right now. I'm not putting you guys through the the headache of watching an ad while watching me already play. Already watching me play this is already probably torture enough for you guys. Why do I need to uh, sub subjugate you to a freaking uh, video ad? Oh wait, are these rabbits? These are rabbits. Something different, guys. We're fighting something different. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are all my guys dead? Oh, I think all my guys are dead, guys. All my rats are dead. Oh shit, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, God dang it. Okay, so we learned. What did we learn today, class? We learned that rabbits are more powerful than than rats, which I guess makes perfect sense. Let's see. I mean, is there really like the how big of a um of a 
you know, is how big of a downside is it to die in this game? Like, is it just like you just start over and then level up? I mean, okay, we can get, well, now we can get rabbits, though. That's cool. What else we got? We, can we see what else we got? Uh, it looks like we're going to have a deer at some point, and maybe a, maybe that's a boar, I think? A bird of some kind? Like a, that's like an ox looking thing, and that looks more like an elephant. Of some kind, maybe a mammoth. Um, I can't really tell what a lot of these other animals are. That looks like a monkey, maybe a rhino, kind of, or a hippopotamus, maybe. All right, enough of that. Um, it does look like there's quite a few different animals, though, actually. Okay, so I think that's kind of why I want to stop this video because I feel like this is a good enough kind of opening to the game to kind of make you you know, decide if you, this is a game for you or not. Um, let's see. Okay. Overall, I overall I think the aesthetics look cool. That's the main thing that draws me in is like the, just the style of the game and the art style and kind of just the detail. Because there's a lot of detail in this. It just is, just this screen right here has so much stuff to look at. And it's so pretty to look at. But I do feel like the actual gameplay is kind of just very uh, micromanagement just kind of like not really my kind of thing per se it's not really engaging enough for me or exciting enough it just kind of I don't know it just I'm not a big fan of this of these kind of style of uh, just catch a whole bunch of stuff send them off to the people and you know kind of stuff at first I thought it was going to be more Pokemon-ish but it's not really Pokemon-ish that much um, another thing that I don't really care for is just this I'm not a big fan First of all, I, I'm perfectly fine with free-to-play games, and you know, I'm perfectly fine with spending money on a game that I enjoy, and that I want to play, and that I want to progress in, or that I want to support the developers of, but I don't really like when they kind of push, they push it so much into your face and kind of limit you so much, so like already, in the first 10 minutes of playing this game, I've gotten, there's been a, a time, a sale thing that's been just beating on my screen just trying to get my attention it's right there by by my uh timer on my uh recording app and it's just been getting it's been, it's been getting on my nerves a little bit because it just sits there and just looks at me and um not not just that but the fact that you have to just to heal up you have to watch a commercial that's kind of annoying usually commercials are kind of saved for when, when you're trying to earn some kind of currency but not when you're just trying to heal in a game i feel like that's just pushing it pushing it a little too much but if you guys are fine with that, go ahead and try this game out. It's called Wild Tamer. It's on the Android store and probably the iOS store, I imagine. But don't quote me on that. Thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, stay awesome. And I'll see you guys later.